was the last time we saw each other? Two summers ago. Lord Nagao's tournament. I looked for you after the tournament ended. Straw Hats saw our duel. They needed a new sword. It seemed like fun. Why didn't you tell me you were at Komoda? You were busy with the other samurai lords. I was sharing a drink with my men. I could have used a drink before that battle. Yeah, I'll bet. Another wagon. Might have something we can salvage. Empty. Samurai! Samurai! Was this your wagon? Yes, my lord. Mongols stole my horse, took my rice. You're lucky that's all you lost. Which way did the Mongols go? Toward Fort Ohira. Damn it. Take refuge at the Golden Temple. Warn others to stay off these roads. Yes, my lord. Let's keep moving. My camp's not far. Oh. I meant what I said before. Help free Lord Shimura, and he'll grant you anything in his power. What's he got the power to give? Name your price. Free sake for life. Is that all? A place to drink. Big enough for all my men. Be serious, Ryuzo. I know you want to be more than a mercenary. It's been three years, Jin. Things change. It can't have been easy keeping the Straw Hats together after Komodo Beach. How did you do it? I convinced them nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. I used to think so. It's starting to feel like a lie. How many men do you have? We're down by half, but still enough to call ourselves a small army. Why? That peasant said the Mongols stole his rice and went to Fort Ohira. You think they're hoarding food there? Possibly. Do you have an idea? The beginning of one. Who goes there? Easy, Shinzo. It's me. He's here! You use those back! <laughs> About time. I don't see any food. Who's the samurai? Ben! This is my old friend, Lord Sakai. Yuzo told me you're starving. I'm here to help. You didn't find food. We have a plan. Raid Fort Ohira and take back the food Mongols have stolen from our people. Raid a fort? They'll kill us! Give us a moment. Come with me, Jin. We should have talked about your idea before telling my men. I wanted to give them hope. That's my job. I meant no disrespect. It's fine. Through here, Jin. If you ride with the Straw Hats, you have to look the part. I've got a spare set of armor that should fit. It better not have lice. Never letting you forget that, are you? Spare armor's in the chest. <laughs> You're not as handsome as me, but... It's not bad. <laughs> we should check the fort's defenses. Look for weak spots. My men will handle that part. Then we have a deal? Get us that food at Fort Ohira. And we'll get your uncle away from the Mongols. Thank you, Yuzo. Just remember who's in charge of the Straw Hats. I will never dream of replacing you, my friend. Give us a head start. We'll meet you at the old cemetery. See you there.
If I pack the Mongols' black powder into a clay pot, I can set it aflame and throw it as a weapon. Moving out. All my goods are useful. Find a single drop of Come, see what I can make for you, my lord. An excellent choice. Thank you. I look forward to hearing of your victory. Are you hunting for Shigenori's heavenly strike as well, my lord? Hmm. That technique is only one of myth. 
the musician Yamado insists the myth is real. I'm not surprised. People often speak of his stories with excitement. I heard the tale near Komatsu Forge. If it's as powerful as the story claims, let's hope you never face the technique in battle. There's a man, my lord, swinging his sword, slashing the air on the beaches of Sutsu. Another survivor? Or a bandit? I don't know, but I think he was crying. Greetings, my lord. What happened? Bandits, my lord. They took my food. <laughs> Every last scrap. Do you see where they went? Northeast, into the woods. If I find them, they'll regret stealing from you. Please don't harm them. They're just as desperate as I am. No promises. Fight! <laughs> 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 
Right. Must be the food they stole. My lord, you're back. I have your food. Rice. I don't remember the last time I had rice. You said they stole it from you. Please, for forgive me. You lied to me. Bandits don't deserve food at a time like this, my lord. Besides, I ask you not to hurt them. They gave me no choice. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have lied. I still would have helped you. I won't do it again. I promise. When uncle is free, we'll eat his favorite meal. Vegetables sweetened with mirin on a bed of rice.
us without you, boy. Quickly, Noble! Send your best warrior! Let's go, Nobu. Come and fight!
plus. Thank you, my lord. They killed everyone else who was running with me. Where did they catch you? Azamo's eastern coast. At the crossroads, where the fishermen used to sell the day's catch. Stay away from there, until I've dealt with the Mongols. Bobu, come! Good move. Come and fight! Fight me!
Susano, protect me. Dead bodies. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many is slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attack, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself. Send your best warrior! 
Pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. What has Yasuhira been doing? White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees.
White leaves has to be the place. bleached by lightning in the tail. grows and reaches out, cloaked in death's armor.
Please save me! Was a man named Yasuhiro with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, save him. So here I cannot learn the heavenly strike. down in order to cross. So he brought Mongols with him. Looking for me? Thank <laughs> you. 
That must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhira Koga. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. What are you waiting for, boy? Not waiting. Studying. Learning. Save you. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. <laughs> 